When my first book came out, a lot of my friends teased me and said that it should really have been called the Rhubarb Pea and Marsala Cookbook. And I am beginning to think that this series should be called the Lemon Chili and Mint Show. But I'm not apologising for that. I mean, restaurant chefs have to dazzle us with their novelty. But at home, cooking with familiar ingredients is what it's all about. And anyway, there is another reason why this particular programme is so heavily sprinkled with mint. For me, just the smell of it instantly evokes hot-shouldered summer. It's just not a one-note herb. I mean, yes, it's pungent, but it's also so refreshing. And it's peppery, but it's sweet, and I love that combination. And I use mint, untraditionally, I admit, in my version of a gimlet, which should be vodka or gin and lime cordial. But I like fresh lime, oh, summer sharpness, bit of sugar, and then, this is the bit I like, mint in, a few leaves. <laughs> Fish it about to get all the flavour. And this is called muddling when a bartender does it, although admittedly he doesn't use a rolling pin. But um, I do not have any specialist tools for the job. Bit of water. Fizzy water, just a bit, just summer spritz. And ice. Mmm. That's what I needed. Thank you.